Episode 20... 30, actually. 30. Episode 30 now. Wow, it's a big 3-0. And now we're going to start off with close all the fuel pipes, which is pretty much the same thing as the fuel tanks, but this time we just have to close them off. And this one, I probably should pick this one first, because this one I think is actually easier, if I remember correctly. Where's the first one at? Let's see, the good old map. First one is all the way up north. Okay. Well, that will work out, I guess, in our favor. Because I think there's one at the revolver shop or whatever. Revolver shop. Yeah, we're just going to call it the revolver shop. The place where revolver parts are scattered. That place. And then there's one by the bandits at the little watering hole around by the racetrack. Ooh, and I almost drew off a wedge. That one would have good. No, it would not have, because that would have just been death. And death is never really too fun. Apparently, I can't even, like, drive up there, I guess, so, looks like we're just gonna deck it on this way, and get glitched on a rock, glitched on another rock, come on, get up there, thank you, brick, pretty sure there's only skithed here, so I'm just gonna book it to the thing before they all jump out at me, but that's too late, so I'm just gonna hit it and run away, because I don't feel like fighting these things, they're just way too freaking fast, let's run, book it, Run circles, booking it out, brick. Run as fast as you can, and we still haven't got hit yet. Probably just jinxed it there, but screw it. Who cares? Geronimo, almost there. No, now Geronimo. Yeah. Don't know why I said Geronimo really, like ten seconds early, but you know what? Screw it. Who cares? You can say Geronimo whenever the hell you want to say Geronimo. Same thing. Next one's up here at the good old Walmart shop, right? Oh wow, ran into a post. Alright, now next one's up by the bandits, so let's go down there. Hi, bandits. What? Barrels? Oh, looks like they're roasting some scat. Yay. Alright, you know what? You're just going to Why do I even bother? Hey, I can't really run into the bushes, though. Hey, yes, I can. I'll probably just a little bit. They all dead? Yes, they are. Good. One good bandit is a dead one. That's what I always say. Say that about Skiffid, say that about anything that attacks me. Except Skags, they're awesome. I love Skags. They're so cool. They're just so bright to me. They're so nice and everything. They try to bite me. They give me rabies. I hit the wrong button. I hang triangle instead of pressing square. That's great. Now we're going to the revolver shop. Because... That's where the revolvers are at. Yay, revolvers, funness. Yeah, today is still Monday. Still, probably won't mention this in other videos, but you guys should all go watch Chuck. Good show. Everyone's probably going to be like, oh, are you endorse endorsing Chuck? I'll be like, well, first off, I'm like nobody on YouTube, so I don't know how I'd be able to endorse him. And second off, now it's just a cool show, so you guys should all chill and watch it. You like stuff, you like Chuck. That's what I always say. And yeah, now we got all the valves closed, so now there's no more leaking oil. Yay. I don't know why this one's like in a box, but yeah, let's get out of here. Back to the bounty board. Yay. So exciting, I know. This mission is just heart wrenching. Heart wrenching missions here. People are just like, wow, you gotta be like some kind of mad to be able to do these missions. Remember at the beginning of the game when I thought I was like glitched because I was like it looked like I was looking underwater. I never really realized that there was actually water there. And yeah, so I guess I should have wow. It was a great great driving skill there. A plus for me. That was completely A plus effort. But yeah, I never really realized there was actually water under there. It was like a sewer. I wasn't exactly smart enough to realize that. It wasn't exactly the greatest uh, cookie in the in the place. Yeah, and now we almost leveled up, and now there's only one more mission left. So, oh, there's actually the Skagzilla one that we can do, too. But, yeah, I think I'm going to do, yeah, Elemental Artifact. This is probably the hardest mission that I think I actually almost hit Circle again by accident. Might have been Triangle. This is probably actually the hardest mission in the area, honestly. This is Skagzilla, who we will face him in a little bit. To get to this, uh, these elemental artifacts, we're looking for uh, 
This one I think is going to be explosive one, I believe. And to do that, first we're going to go clear over here, clear out these bandits. Wow, that guy went flying. Oh, is my car really stuck? Okay, back up. You. Oh, you got my only weakness is wood. Not being able to run over. That thing's stuck in the wood. Oh my god, I'm gonna. I'm gonna kill this bandit. Yeah, suck it. Stupid freaking bandit. Don't wanna die. Oh yeah, just fly out my car. You don't even deserve to touch it. You can't get your freaking filthy bandit hands all on this car at all. Why does he shoot it? Up. Look at this thing. Holy clip did that. Boom. Don't even try this. I want to make it my favorite. Suck it. Suck the shock grenades. I think I killed the guy, did I? I don't know. See you, Ninja. Not great, I'm a loser. Here, this ain't going well right now. This ain't going well at all. I look level up sweet. This is going well. Of course, I leveled up fighting things, which is exactly what I wanted, because now they're going to take more of my life. But I can dodge him by hiding behind rocks. And then killing said bandits with headshots. That went well. And now I have a new shield and I have a new grenade mod. Grenade mod on and let's put the shield on. Sweetness. And we also have another skill point, so throw that in the cooldown. Because that's what we're doing next. And now we're going under the elevator. Awesome! Running in circles, running in circles, da na 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 I think there's enemies down here at the bottom though, that we'll have to watch out for. Yes, just I believe there are enemies here at the bottom. Oh, there's a weapon shop, sweet. No, not an ammo shop though, so that's disappointing. But that's okay. God, I'm loving this new machine gun, it's freaking awesome. Yay, as on my computer. I bet I mention this every video, but this is for not hitting the computer. I guess enough. Stupid ads. Yeah, light you up too, Mr. Bandit. Can't handle the pressure. Ah, crap. I think I put that crappy shield on. No, no, I didn't. Sweet. Check out the shop. Oh, what do we got down here? Nothing really good. How about over here? Nothing good either. Let's see. We're gonna sell. This, 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 nah. So my super name mods, so my old shield, and that shield. And now before I go, let's see, we're gonna we're gonna be fighting some enemies, you're gonna wanna put some shock things on. So I'll put my shock revolver and my shock artifact to take out these things shields. Because we're gonna be introduced to a new enemy in a second. And they love themselves some shield. Maybe. Yay, let's go take it. Oh. oh no, statues are moving. Whatever could they be? Uh oh, guardians! No! Whoa, I didn't see you over there. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you see what happens when there? But if you didn't notice that, it took them out a few punches. As you can see, they're all shields. Boom. You take out their shield, you kill. Wow. Holy crap, dude. Oh my god, dude, you spazzing or something here? Take god, you sweet guardian. Yeah, I'm gonna punch you in the face. And I'm not gonna punch you in the face. These things, you want pretty much shock weapons, or you wanna put your shock artifact on. You wanna do something to make it so they cannot live. Because, wow. Alright, was that thing just like moving like crazy? Alright, I'm just gonna completely ignore that. Yeah, you pretty much wanna put anything that has shock on against these things, because they will just tear up, and uh, yeah. You don't have shock, you pretty much can't do any damage to them. I mean, they'll take damage after a little while, but still, it's... It's not exactly recommended, I would say. Get my grenade, and get the elemental artifact. So now we have the explosive artifact. Now the only one we're missing is corrosive, but we'll get that later. So that leaves two missions left, Kill Mad Mel and Skagzilla. 
So I think we're gonna do Skagzilla this episode, and I'll give Madnell his own specialty episode. Because he's freaking worthless. But yeah, like I said, this area, honestly, the game is really boring, isn't that important at all. And yeah. I remember when I used to get glitched under this elevator. It was pretty, pretty annoying times, I must say. Like, I used to just move and uh, try to get those, like, ammo cases and uh, money down there. It's not really worth it, though. I tried to get those before, and then the game would just glitch on me, and I'd fall all the way down the elevator and either fall to my death sometimes, lose all my shield, or just get trapped at the bottom, and then have to wait for it to come down. And that was freaking annoying. Because then you'd always get stuck there. It was just freaking annoying. That's all I gotta say. Heading to Ernest now to pick up his uh, mission. And yeah, there's no gate over here. The gate is over here, I think. Maybe. Somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. There's the good old gate. Go through this gate over here and to Ernest to grab the last mission available, which is Kill Skagzilla. And I'm glitched under, this, under the rocks. Fun. Alright, let's go. Let's go kill your Skagzilla. Need some Skagzilla bait first, and I was gonna go look at that medical shop, but screw it, I don't really care. Then I accidentally go in the gun turret. We get to look at Brick's muscles. He's gonna like spazzing out, kinda like his body was. And yeah, now we get to jump this awesome and it fail epically. And then we're gonna jump this awesome ramp. Boom. So first I didn't get a challenge or anything for that hang con. There's some uh, challenges I was trying to get, which are hang time. You just have to hang in the air for a few seconds. I got it glitched the first time. So I hit a rock like that, and then my whole car stood up for like a few seconds. And that's how that one went. Skagzilla bait is up where those uh, bandits were. I don't know if they'll respawn or not. Yes, they will, apparently. They will respawn. Fun. That's what I wanted. Respawning bandits. I mean, it will not die. This one band is pretty annoying. They just want to respawn, they don't like to die. The news is just freaking annoying with their machine guns of going, you know, wow. Wow, that's all I gotta say. You see like a freaking somersault body falling in there. Ouch, dude. I don't think your spine's supposed to do that, but uh, okay. We got the Skagzilla bait. Here's a. Uh, let's see. It smells of rotting. Fish and burning hair together at last. Okay, there's the bait. If I could actually pick it up. How am I carrying this? <laughs> like, where is he putting this huge bait? <laughs> like, on him. Like, does he just have a magical safety pouch or something for it? And is, is he carrying a invisible backpack? The bad thing is, kick it cars through here. So it says, safety first. Oh, this looks like one of the nine to signs that he had on his on his balls. Because it's safety first when it, when it comes to them. So this, if I, uh, I think I'll use my machine gun. Maybe I'll switch the shotgun eventually. It has some ammo in here, so they give you a little bit of freedom. But yeah, here's, uh, here's the bait where you place it. Oh no, something's growling in the cave. What could it be? The ultimate skag of them all. We are here to face. You're coming, Skagzilla! Crickle, crickle, crickle. Yep, run. <laughs> Gigzilla loves to jump like that. Well, run again. Yeah, then he loves to jump at you, hit you around. He doesn't seem to like to open his mouth too much. That's kind of annoying. One of his drawbacks. Ah, oh, he just shot him at me. Hey, open your mouth. That's like a light beam. You don't really want to be in that, because that'll be a... He's even a solar beam, pretty much. Think of it that way. You ever play one of those Pokemon games before it in the kid? You didn't solar beam. Pretty much you wanna You wanna avoid bad news if you go on that solar beam. Come on, yeah, wow, he's opening his mouth a lot this fight. Yeah, see it just sends you flying backwards. I mean it's it's pretty good for taking out your shield, it doesn't do much on your life, whoa. Oh jeez. Now he's just shaking the ground with his earthquake. And new shops have been inventory. Fun. I'm fighting a giant skag and I want to know that new shops have been inventory. Exactly. That's all I care about. Not the giant skag in front of me. 
Oh crap. He's, oh, he's doing the Marley thing. He throws crap at me. I don't want to. This must be Momo Marley's long lost father. Or uncle. Maybe this is uncle. He's kind of. See, he's kind of glitched up there. He's critical from the side, which is kind of weird. Come on, die, Jack Villa. You're almost dead, aren't you? Come on, get me some crystal. Alright, you're almost dead, dude. Yes. Finally, this dude takes a ton of ammo, so where you going? You kind of want to be well stock. Alright, skirt, sniper. Ah, uh, it's ripping to end it. Yes, we ended it. And the Skagzilla, the god of the Skags, is now biting the dust. Sorry, Mr. Skagzilla. You will be missed. He's actually kind of, he can be kind of hard, I don't know. Endower and Wild Road, let's see. Endowered and Wild Road. Oh, uh, let's see, I'm working for Short Fuse, that'd be nice. Uh, wild Load and Endowered. Why are they all for that, for that, like, uh, all the class mods I can find are for that one side of brick. Let's see what's over here. Oh, that's that same class mod. This one is just Endowered, fun. And there's just all these rocket launcher class mods. Jeez. Can I can I get back? No, I can't get back that way. All right. Well, looks like we'll have to walk to the car a long way. All right. Uh, now I guess I'll keep going. The episode's already like gonna be like 25 minutes long or so. I probably should just throw this in the next episode, but I didn't, so we'll be in this episode. Yay! Episodes being way longer than they really should. 122, about the same level he should be. And yeah, next time we're gonna go fight Mad Mel. But first, I gotta hand this in, cause you guys probably wanna see what you get. Cause I think you get a sniper for this, if I remember correctly. Driving skill for the lose. For the win, it's just for the lose. And you know what? You should say that. People should say that more often, like for the lose, cause everyone says it for the win, FTW. But you know what? For the FTL, for the lose, happens to me a lot. You just for the lose. It's a Way better expression than FTW. So FTL. So yeah, let's see what we got here. And we got oh we always get this the elephant gun. It's decent. It's like it's a sniper rifle without the sniper part. Damage, but like no fire rate. I really wouldn't recommend it. And also gotta put the skill point in, so put it in reloading. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.